Have you ever used an app on your phone? I'm sure you have. Have you ever been to Disneyland or a theme park? Do you know what it takes to create those two very different experiences? The truth is, the more easy and fun your experience is, it's highly likely there was a very sophisticated and thoughtful design process behind it. To create an app or even a theme park, it takes a whole team of people who go through a creative process called user experience design. So, what is user experience design, anyways? It is about what, when, where, why, how, and who uses the product. Once we have understood the needs and wants of a user, then we can design an awesome solution for them. But to do this really well, usually there are many different kinds of creative people collaborating together. It's like a jamming party of creative minds. Sounds fun, right? And it is. Each of these creative people bring unique skills to the table. Let's take your smartphone for example. Simply speaking, there are two very obvious areas of design here. One is the design of the apps on your phone, and the other is the design of the phone itself. Let's talk about the apps first. Let's take an app that you probably use every day, like your texting app. One of the first steps in creating an app is to define a problem. Without a problem, it doesn't make sense to create a solution, right? Right. Well, anyways, who defines that problem? Usually, a user researcher does. They are the ones who ask and find out answers to all kinds of questions by shadowing the user. Perhaps they observe that email is too slow, and people would like a faster way to communicate with each other. The user researcher will dig deeper and ask questions like, "Who will use our solution? Why will they use it? Where and how will they use it?" They ask simple questions with a beginner's mindset, and through that, they start to see patterns in the user's behavior. Based on which they come up with findings or insights about what the user wants and needs, and that is how they define a problem. Now, next comes the interaction designer, who will take this problem and design a solution for it. They start off with all kinds of hand-sketched concepts, and then they turn it into higher fidelity wireframes, and then they evolve the design into a working prototype. A working prototype is tested and measured and analyzed with a whole bunch of users. Sounds pretty scientific, right? Well, from those tests, both the user researcher and the interaction designer are able to figure out what should be in the app and what shouldn't, and they test and tweak the design many, many times to get it just perfect. Now we have a perfect solution for the problem. But wait, it's not over yet. Another crucial step in the overall process is making the solution, and in this case, our texting app, look beautiful, like this unicorn. This is the handiwork of a visual designer who creates the look and feel of the app. A visual designer focuses on things like logo, typeface, and layout and color scheme. So now we not only have a solution, but it is a beautiful solution. So far. We talked about the design process of an app. Let's briefly talk about what it takes to design the phone itself. People who design hardware products, like your phone or your car or even your vacuum cleaner, they're called industrial designers. These designers go through a similar creative process like the one we just talked about. They first try to understand their user, then they define a problem, and then they solve the problem. And in the end, they make the solution fun to use. Industrial designers integrate all aspects of form and fit and function to create the best possible experience for you when you are interacting with your phone. So these are just two examples of designers creating a product for a user, and this is called user experience design. You will find user experience designers pretty much in every industry you could possibly think of, from food to sports to entertainment to healthcare. And in each case, they are following a similar process of researching, prototyping, iterating, and testing to create products that are useful, usable, and delightful. So you may ask, why does user experience matter? Well, we're all users of products and services. If these products and services weren't designed for us, we wouldn't use them, right? 
Would you use a texting app that wouldn't let you text easily or was annoying? No. But if you do design for users and you do get it right, this means you can create strong, positive relationships between the companies that offer the product and the people who use it. So the next time you are at a restaurant or a theme park or even just texting a friend, know that there was a whole team of creative people behind your experience making it easy and enjoyable as possible. And if you are a person who naturally questions things and loves to be creative, user experience design might be a fun career for you. Who knows, maybe you'll be creating the next great app or car or theme park.